Kate Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for June 2023. So on June 17th, we have Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, going retrograde in Pisces energy. So let's backtrack for just a sec. We had Saturn move into this Pisces energy back in March. And we moved into this Pisces energy, which is the last sign of the Zodiac. It's a water sign. It is very, very spiritual in nature, very emotional in nature, very cleansing in nature. And we are essentially watching Saturn close the door on a 30 year cycle. Saturn takes 30 years to go through all of the signs in the Zodiac. So for him being in this Pisces energy, he is really kind of deconstructing, if you will, all of the structures, all of the roles, all of the responsibilities, all of the aspects of our status, of our lives, of our reputations, if you will, of our goals in order for us to start fresh again when he moves into Aries energy. And again, that will be in 2025. So this is the deconstruction, the disassembly, if you will, of the world, of the system, structures, foundations that we have essentially built over the last cycle that pretty much have been built on ego. So what am I talking about when I say ego? Well, first of all, the ego avatar that you are here in this physical realm ego-based objectives, which means success, money, you know, we want materialistic items. That is the egoic realm. But the Pisces energy is the spiritual realm, especially where our beliefs are concerned. And Saturn moving through this Pisces energy is not only uncovering the darkest parts of the unconscious collective in order for us to kind of see where it is that we have to put certain cycles to end before we can kind of start building new ones. But it's also illuminating for us what isn't working anymore because we're not in alignment with it anymore. So a retrograde means that we essentially are seeing Mr. Saturn kind of slow down he's not technically he's not going backwards as none no planets actually go backwards in a retrograde they appear to go backwards from our stance here on earth but basically they just slow their roll a little bit and start spinning in a semi different direction which which kind of means that the progression of the orbit is no longer moving at a steady pace. And instead we watch that planet kind of backtrack into the degrees in which it previously kind of stepped through. Now we will see Saturn go all the way back to a zero degree in Pisces. And essentially uh, in November, we will be at zero degrees, 31 minutes of Pisces. So that's kind of taking us back to where it is that we were at back in March. So from March up until this point, we've seen some major changes. We've seen major changes within ourselves. We've seen major changes within our long-term goals. We've seen changes in our finances, in our jobs, in our relationships, basically all routine systems and structures that we have previously built in our lives. We are going through a re-evaluation as such. A retrograde is all of those re-words. So we have to review, re-evaluate, recalibrate, redo, rework, Work, revise but when it comes to Saturn because he is the Lord of Karma and he likes to give us tough love life lessons he's all about mastery and in order for us to master those tough love life lessons we got to go through them with a different set of eyes and that's exactly what a retrograde provides us an opportunity to do we get to take this level of awareness take this level of consciousness take this level of wisdom of expertise of knowledge and go back and look at some of the old constructs that we've built especially the ones that are blocking us from making any kind of progress and moving forward and we have to kind of re-evaluate re-examine them refine what it is that we're actually doing here in our lives so we are definitely going to be taking a good look at who it is that we are first of all because we've all been going through a rebranding a re-identification if you will what it is that we are doing in life as far as our mission our purpose our long-term goals are concerned what we do for work what we're doing as far as our financial and resources sector is concerned let's say we're taking a good look at our reputation how it is that we are seen how it is that we want to be seen um, and we're taking a good look at the roles and responsibilities that we have in life and to whom 
Many of us have gone through a deep dark purge in order to get rid of any connections that are no longer in alignment with our vibration, our frequency, our soul mission, our soul contracts. And therefore, we still have to kind of cut the cord, if you will, with some of the old foundations, old structures, old roles, old responsibility, old people that we've been, you know, slowly but surely trying to create distance from. And so karmically speaking, collective, I, I, I should say this, collectively speaking, karmically, we are going to uncover a lot of those final details that have been hidden away from the collective. Again, Pisces energy is the unconscious collective. So all of the not so nice things, the heavy things, the pain, the trauma that the human race is is and has created will need to come to the forefront and of course this is what we've been doing since the great awakening of 2020 so we are kind of moving into this next chapter of dissolving the things that we're no longer in alignment with and through the dissolving of those roles responsibilities reputation resources uh structures foundations routines um we are refining what needs to stay and what needs to go. So this has a lot to do in the Pisces energy. It has a lot to do with our dreams. Just as we are realizing what our futuristic dreams are, we're also realizing where the fears, doubts, and insecurities are creeping up within us, preventing us from actually believing that we're able and capable of bringing those dreams to life. We are also looking at our ability to heal through painful past wounds, especially where some of our soul contracts are concerned. And we are looking to kind of, I'm going to say, reform our spiritual practice. And I think this is going to be, as, as I've mentioned back in March, if you need to go back and listen to Saturn moving into Pisces forecast in order to kind of understand the greater, grander picture of the next couple of years for this transit, basically, this is going to show the fake spiritual, I'm going to say, side of this particular, how do I even want to say it? Um, this particular restructuring of what is true. And, you know, it doesn't, doesn't take very long to understand that this new age spiritual community is toxic as F. And you're really going to see the real leaders from the fake leaders, the real spiritualists from the fake spiritualists. The delusion is high in Pisces energy. The delusion and confusion is high in order to create a fog between the veil of what we want to be true versus what is actually true. And with Saturn going retrograde, we have Neptune going retrograde at the end of June. That is definitely going to bitch slap us with a new level of truth and reality. And we already have Pluto retrograde and, and creeping back into that Capricorn energy where the foundations and structures of what it is that we didn't bring to a full completion back into March needs to come up for renewal, for revision, for review, for reworking, for a redo, because we weren't able to break away the way that we needed to in order to start fresh, in order to clean the slate, in order to actually start building something new in the place of the constructs that have fallen apart and essentially dissolved in front of our very eyes. So the fact that Saturn is going retrograde literally within hours of the new moon in Gemini energy, which is providing us with a little bit of a choice point, a crossroads point, if you will, seems very interesting because up until this point we have been intellectually logically practically dependent on what choice makes most sense to the ego and now we are going to be moving into a time where some doors are closing some options being removed off of our plate and essentially, now we have to learn how to lean into what feels right, what feels the best that obviously will not make as much log logical, practical sense to the ego as the ego would prefer. So this is a leap of faith, so to speak. And because the Pisces energy that Saturn is, you know, set up in, this does require us to lean more into trusting the greater, grander plan of the universe, trusting our main mission, our spiritual contracts, if you will, and really taking a leap of faith to not only deconstruct and close the door on the old aspects that we know we don't want to go back to, but taking a leap of faith and really trusting that the answers to our questions, the clarity to our confusion will be provided to us 
as the new path, the new opportunities, the new mission, the new purpose gets downloaded and emerges to kind of draw us away from the things that we need to move away from and draw us closer to what it is that we actually need to pursue.